Woo! Right there, that's where it goes. Uh, are we recording now? Yeah, well, you started playing. Absolutely. Keep, keep recording. Keep recording. <laughs> Are you still recording? Yeah. Good. So, uh, Peyton uh, told me I needed to write a song about Saul's lost donkeys. And, and, and what? So, the other, no, the other night, yeah, it was Peyton. Okay, the other night, Tuesday night, uh, I, it took me like five hours to fall asleep, literally. But part of, during part of that time, I, I, I prayed and, and I asked God if, you know, for an idea for that song, and I had been thinking of one tune. It had to be something that might have related to a horse. Um, and the tune I thought of is a tune, I, is a song I absolutely hate. A horse with no name. I hate that song. That is not the song I used. God gave, God gave me a different idea of a song to twist, By which Arizona? works. What? By Arizona? The name of a song. Uh, no, 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 by uh, America. America. Yeah, I hate that song. It's so bad, isn't it? It's really bad. I like one of their songs. Song. Anyway. I like Tin Man. Okay. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Yes. Well, at least I'm glad. I love the energy in this class. That's great. Anyway, so I pray. I go, please, Lord, a different idea. And another song came. No, man, I've got this weird kind of... Uh, uh, music index in my head, which really helps when you're going to do parodies. And so uh, uh, I actually I took the old song Tennessee Stud and uh, turned, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a country bluegrass when before country was just southern rock and roll. <laughs> well, let's, let's give it a shot here. We'll see how it turns out. that again. Okay. I messed up. Okay. Keep going. Just let it roll. Okay. It, it is. Oops. Ah! Along about 1015 BC, the people called for a king who was quite mighty. Well, a man from Benjamin was mighty tall, and his daddy Keish gave him the name. Well, his daddy's donkeys had wandered off. They didn't hang around their feeding trough. Go grab you a servant, go through the land, and find those donkeys however you can. The donkeys of Keish had wandered far. They're more valuable than a fancy car. Saul and his servant looked here and there, but they couldn't find the donkeys anywhere. A prophet lives up the road that's right ahead. Maybe he'll tell us where we should look, and we'll know the route that the donkeys took. Saul said, What do we give the man? What do you got there in your hand? His servant said, A silver coin is what I got. Might do the trick, so it ain't a lie. The Bible barbecue is up the hill, so you better hurry while the prophet's there still. Now the prophet Samuel learned on the day before that Saul be coming by the word of the Lord. This is the man you'll anoint as king and deliver to the people he's gonna bring. The donkey of Kish had one.
I'm anointed you king over Israel, and upon that man the Holy Spirit fell. He returned to the city, and you know that guy hid from the people because he was shy. But they found him, saw that he was big and strong, and the people said, Make the king live long. The donkey no keys had wandered far, the more valuable than a fancy car. Saul and his servant looked here and there, but they couldn't find the donkeys anywhere.